Good evening, brothers and sisters. Last night, um, I I didn't have a dream. I had a waking vision. This is the second time I've had a waking vision. One one was um, kind of funny. It was a uh, uh, let's see. Let me put this up here. That was another video I did about. Um, re-mediating uh, re, uh, yourself to the Lord, which I never knew what that word meant, but it means like putting away your differences, reconciling, wronging what's, or righting what's wrong, things like that. But this one was different. <clears throat> I was, I just laid down and um, I closed my eyes and immediately a kind of a movie started animation clip kind of animated anyway I began what appeared it started as a vision of the Sun and it was really bright uh, but I could look straight at it and um, it's uh, it was like a big reddish orange ball in the sky and all of a sudden it put out the sun put out like this sonic boom and it, it, it was kind of like a mirage of these radiation it just said boom and like it just it went like past me and it just it was huge and um it went through and passed me through me but I, I really wasn't feeling it because I don't know. It was it was weird, and then so all and then all of a sudden after that, it it went inside of a compass, and and then I was like I became aware that it was that um, Masonic compass because before I really knew a lot about the Masons and stuff like that, my my daughter was a Rainbow Girl for. Um, uh, about four years and she was involved in all the uh, the activities and in the Masonic Hall all this weird stuff so but I remember seeing the compass and then but I, I never remember seeing the Sun on the inside that's one I never seen before I always they were in the lodge they always had the all see and eye over the top of this compass thing here but what I could liken it to, and well, so then I got on and I started looking. I was like, well, there is a compass with the sun in the middle. And uh, here's one, a representation. There's the sun hanging right in the middle of this compass right here. Um, and then if you go back, here's another one. I'm still not sure what this means like this, but I'll tell you the next segment of my dream. There was two. Oh, look. Look at that. Here's another one. Right in the middle. Now, now in my dream, it didn't have this, um, like this carpenter V uh, straight edge on the bottom. It, di it didn't have that. It just had the, the top part of the compass and then the sun right in the middle. Oh, look, they even have pendants of it. See, I never even knew. Okay, and then, um, look, here's a carving of one with the sun right in the middle. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see? I'm, I'm not sure what that part means, if anybody knows what that symbol stands for when they put the sun in the middle of the compass. I, I don't know, but this is what was shown to me in a vision. I was still awake and it was pretty, what is that? It was pretty amazing. Actually, I was, I was sitting there thinking, what is going on? Oh, it's the Lord. Oh, look at this. Yep. Here's another one. There's the sun right in the middle of the compass. What else? Yeah, that's interesting. But anyway, I became uh, aware that it represented the Illuminati. Just immediately, you know how you just know. It wasn't the Masons, it was the Illuminati. 
and uh, oh look at that there's another one kind of a thing there oh that's scary oh the LDS temple oh that's scary oh look at that that's scary okay <laughs> anyway friends I'm just uh, kind of just uh, really get a creepy feeling about all this. So then uh, right after that, it's the vision switched over and there was a uh, nuclear explosion and it just, it exploded like this. And, oh, look at that. Yep. It exploded like that, and then it started just to billow and billow, and the shock wave of it just sent out this. It just was so powerful. Look at this. It was kind of like this, but there was the mushroom cloud. Oh, is that billowing? Yeah, it started to billow and billow and billow and just straight out so friends whoever's watching this this was my dream kind of looks like this the billowing was this color down the bottom and then there was a, uh, a, a orange reddish kind of look about of it like a fire but um whatever you know it was bad Look at this, it says North Korea, America, North Korea. Let's press North Korea, see what that says. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. I don't know why I pressed that. Okay, so, uh, so I had the Illuminati, the compass with the sun in the middle. First the sun put out these radiations and uh, then it switched over and it showed a picture of a nuclear bomb or an atomic bomb. I'm not sure, but I know that Jesus is coming and I know his judgment is coming. It's coming to the world and it's coming soon. And if you have not repented and turned away from your sins, smoking, drinking, cussing, um, uh, causing division. I mean, there's, it just goes on and on and on. There's, there's just a list. Just try to be led by the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in Jesus name, Acts 238, so you can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And once you're baptized in Jesus name and you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will lead, guide, and direct you into all things into all truths. The Holy Spirit will give you a sound mind. He will speak to you. He will tell you the things that you need to be doing. <sighs> anyway, friends, brothers and sisters, I love you all. I'm praying for us all. I'm so glad I have one last day, one last hour, one last minute to just try to try to be about the Lord's business. And um, today I went down to the homeless camp by the bridge over there in Stockton and and uh, I bought all this toiletries and food and shampoos and just uh, uh, the Lord spoke to me and said there was a baby down there and a kid so I, I, I don't know how that is but when you're walking with the Holy Spirit he tells you these things and so I filled up a box and I brought it down there and lo and behold a lady just had a baby a couple days before and and uh I had stopped by the Christian store. I seen that they had a forty percent off. They had a closing; their store was closing, so I picked up a few Bibles there. And anyway, I went. We, me and my husband, went down there, and I was led to a certain spot. And that lady uh, said they hide the kids at night because they're afraid the CPS is going to take them away. So they only let the kids come out at night and play. And uh, it's, it's so sad. And and Jesus said to go minister and feed the poor and the the husbandless and the widows and the the 
children without fathers and and uh where do you say to go the highways and the byways where's the highways and the byways they're in the big cities who's off the highways and the byways the poor and the needy and the the widows and the fatherless and those are the those are the people you give your money to you might say oh they're drunks and all this and that well you don't know that we don't know that we don't know just be just just try to be obedient and and witness to somebody tell someone about Jesus you know get your household in order because God's coming Jesus is coming he's bringing his judgment and it's going to be real soon it's going to be real real soon all right i love you guys and i'm praying for all of us in Jesus name amen